I'd like to acknowledge the official election results that are out today, uh, confirming uh, the result that Labour received on election night, 34 seats for Labour. Um, I'd like to acknowledge and congratulate those MPs who have picked up a seat, an electorate seat, uh, on, the final, on the official vote count, um, and also acknowledge those who have fallen behind in their seats on the official vote count. There are still a number of seats where the margin is very, very close. I think it is likely um, that we'll see some recounts in electorate seats, um, so there'll be a process for that, and we need to allow the time for that to happen before we get a, an absolute final final outcome of this year's general election. Uh, but the re result does confirm the overall allocations of seats in the coming parliament. Um, so in, uh, now that that has been done, I would like to uh, take a moment to reflect on and thank um, those MPs who are not going to be returning to this parliament, a number of whom are Labour members of parliament. Um, I'd like to thank them uh, for the contribution that they have made over uh, three and potentially six very difficult and challenging years for New Zealand. Um, and recognise that uh, you know, through our democratic process um, it can be uh, quite a lot of upheaval from election to election and certainly this election uh, there's a lot of upheaval for those who are not going to be returning and I want to thank them for their service um, and thank them for the contribution that they have made to making New Zealand a better place. The final result now being out, um, albeit there may be a little bit of shifting around some of those more marginal seat results, uh, does mean that Christopher Luxon can now get on with uh, the task of forming his new government. Um, it's clear that uh, a National Act New Zealand First government is required in order to get a majority in the new parliament. Um, and so uh, over the however long it takes, um, he will have the opportunity to, uh, to form that government. Uh, we will continue as the caretaker government, as we have over the last three weeks, uh, until, that, uh, until the outcome of that process is known. If you look at the Māori seat vote, there's a very, very strong Labour Party vote there, so there was a, a clear vote splitting that was going on uh, in the Māori electorate. So we saw them voting Labour with their party vote, wanting us to continue in government, uh, but wanting, if, if you like, a Māori Party voice within that government. Um, I've had a brief conversation with Penny Hinari. Obviously, I haven't had a chance to call everybody yet, um, but I indicated to him if he wants to call for a recount. He'll have my full support to do that. Nobody who has been elected under the Labour banner at this point, other than Andrew Little, um, has indicated that they're not intending to continue. Um, there will be plenty of opportunity for people to reflect on that over the next three years, and there may well be people who choose to move on. Um, I think that's natural. I think everybody would expect that, but nobody has indicated that at this point.